Hello. Today I am going to be preserving a wet specimen. You will need a jar, some alcohol, 70%, mm -hmm. and an animal. Today I picked up this animal. It's a, it's a little bird that flew into the yard and just gonna preserve it. <laughs> Just a small jar I use in because the bird that I have is small. It's in this container, in this package because I froze it. I, I got it this morning but I had to go to school so I had to freeze it. See, there, oh, it's a birdie with a feather. Oh, it's quite normal. And, right, so just gonna take him out by his feet he's frozen Ooh. oh my look at this little birdie he's frozen look at this little birdie his eyes are closed it's a little baby I'm just gonna fix him up a little bit mm. got this poor little thing huh? Well, you're frozen, but he looking looks okay. So I just hold him upright and put like that. Nice. Looks normal. So let me go wash my hand and I'll be yeah. right back. So hey guys. Usually when preserving a wet specimen You might need to inject it with some alcohol in the stomach in the mouth and throughout the body if it's large But since this is just a little baby bird, I'll just be throwing in the alcohol just so Just look at how cute he looks. There's his eyes. He looks as if he's sleeping and his feathers look amazing. Look at that. Just enough to cover the bird and that should be okay. But you do need to close your jar very tightly and your jar needs to be glass because the alcohol can cause damage to your plastic so you need to use glass and close it very tightly okay so that's it I'll give you guys an update when the water starts changing my bad it's alcohol not water <laughs> changing color in a few weeks and thanks for viewing have a great day or a great night